words by the end of this year and when if you have 300 words in your vocabulary i think you can speak like uh, sashi tharur for sure because so yeah we had a session yesterday also right not yesterday i suppose the day before yesterday hmm how many sessions do you get in a week three sessions three sessions so how do you plan them throughout the week like, like monday monday wednesday friday or like randomly yeah i do after one day take a break for one day like one alternative break and then just continue later on yeah hmm. okay nice all right so how's your content creation going on you you make on content YouTube. on youtube right hmm uh currently it's just about the conversation i do on clapping or session and mm-hmm. some of the short videos i create uh, like mm-hmm. whenever i learn a new idiom and uh, mm-hmm. it during the session i make mm-hmm. videos on that and uh, that's going good i think because it's mm-hmm. just uh, uh, it's been two months now and mm-hmm. i have 215 subscribers mm-hmm. and my one video that got 5000 views so it's interesting really good yeah mm. i know youtube is a kind of platform which uh, requires a lot of patience right exactly <laughs> so keep creating you know maybe some day you will have first of all i think you will have 10000 subscribers and okay when do you get that silver button i think uh, 100k or something right I don't know about this but uh, the channel is monetized after having 1000 subscribers and 4000 mm. hours watch time 4000 hours or minutes yeah hours 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 that's a lot <laughs> yeah okay sure and uh, who's your favorite youtuber like in terms of mostly in- sane mostly sane <laughs> yeah mostly sane and sandeep maheshwari sir yeah Okay, mostly same. Prajakta Kohli. Praj Prajakta Prajakta. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I think I've seen her a few videos, not consciously, but maybe randomly. Mostly same. And the recent series mismatch. Did you watch? On Netflix. Yeah. No, I don't Netflix. watch. I don't watch that much Netflix. But whenever I watch, I watch uh, different uh, shows. So recently, I have watched uh, Stranger Things. Okay. Have you? No, not yet. <laughs> you you suggested me uh, before also, but I will. Yeah, after the like I'm watching the Vampire Diaries. No, after that, yeah. Hmm. You told me about the Vampire Diaries, and I think it's a exactly. long show, right? It has a lot of seasons as well, right? Yeah. Hmm. But if you want a show recommendation, I would recommend Stranger Things because. if i talk about the overall language of the show the basic notion it is good like it's a nice show you you, you can watch it so as of now we uh, it has a uh, four seasons and uh, fifth season is coming up quite interesting okay. mm. i don't watch a lot of web series but yeah basically i think you can also relate with it that uh, when i whenever you have food you need something to watch so that time i watch uh, friends and uh, Big Bang Theory is uh, episode. Captain Ants is also nice, yeah. Mm-hmm. How many seasons have you watched? Of Friends? No, I have watched some of uh, episodes. Mm-hmm. Okay, you you have watched some of the episodes. Yeah. Hmm. But yes, you know it's really uh, difficult to start a series and continue it for a long, long time. Yeah. It's about the time also. so like what are you doing these days you know overall apart from taking sessions and uh, creating content what else do you do like uh, as you know i am preparing for topic exam like uh, okay for yeah proficiency like for korean language mm-hmm. so i am preparing for that and mm-hmm. uh, i'm searching for job also a part time mm-hmm. yeah. a part time job okay but as of now you're in rajasthan right Yeah. Hmm. And if you talk about part-time jobs, I think if you were in Delhi, uh, you would have more opportunities, correct? Yeah, but here in Jaipur is also. Hmm. You have. Yeah. So, are you looking for a work-from-home uh, jo- part-time job or like like a normal 
office job i prefer work from home for that i will apply in korean language after two months because i need to work a lot yet mm-hmm. now so mm-hmm. i'll apply they they are after two months and mm-hmm. for now i am just searching whatever like uh, just uh, related to my niche yeah mm, okay nice okay so 2023 is you know uh, going to come within two months or so so 10 months have already passed so in this particular year uh, what all things have you learned so far you know overall not just english overall your life experiences and everything and uh, yeah tell me about your experience in 2022 how was it for you like uh, as you said uh, besides mm-hmm. english mm-hmm. besides english that uh, the thing like i have now i have that confident i can speak in public also mm-hmm. and uh, like uh, after talking a lot of different people on clapping mm-hmm. that i i have that in my mind like i need to uh, Uh, th- there are a lot of things that i need to work on and i need to start doing that especially for my health like if mm. someone is living outside from home then we need to take care of uh, our health also so mm-hmm. i i even i started working on it but i i know that i have to do a lot uh, and uh, and besides that like i have been there like uh, in jharkhand or in delhi so i have that experience how people treat outside mm. so because of that i was in a uh, boarding school i learned that also like how to treat people outside yeah these mm. things in 2020 i think uh, i was home uh, till august so i was just busy in preparing for government job i i wasn't into searching a lot of uh, different things and after coming here after shifting in jaipur i started searching a lot of new things and uh, after that even i started watching this series and all that so yeah, that is the biggest change nice so you've done a lot of things uh, in this particular year. okay now uh, another question do, uh, do you remember when uh, 2020 was going on you know the lockdown period like where were you that time first of all uh in 2021 uh 2020 the lockdown period okay i was at home you were at home only right okay yeah okay now uh, 2020 the, there was lockdown period now it's now 2023 is just about to come can yeah. you like imagine 3 years have gone by like anything exactly. i i i thought i think about it sometime when i go to bed mm-hmm. i think like how time flies mm. like you know i i don't know i don't uh, like calculate how it flies so fast mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah it is really fast actually yeah you know i And have the same yeah, yeah. go on. continue continue Okay, after turning a age uh, about twenty two, you will realize mm. like when you are more conscious and more aware about your future job mm. and things like that. We don't know about time. We think like three mm. years. Now and I am doing this, mm. and I have to do this, and a lot of things to do. And now my age is going really fast. That happens a lot mm. with me. Mm. I just had this thought a few days ago, like you know, in two thousand twenty, we were thinking that uh, it's the only year which we have to take care of, and then later on, uh, things will be fine and everything. And now, talking about COVID and tackling the, uh, you know, uh, tackling from COVID, I think it has been almost three years now. Two thousand twenty-three is going to come within two yeah. months. Imagine how time flies. <laughs> that was my experience also. So I thought I should ask you the same question because I thought. i'm the only person who thinks like that but definitely uh sometimes i feel like uh, i should deduct these two years because that wasn't productive at all because you couldn't yeah, move exactly. out of your house <laughs> but when this is something I which is not in your control yeah hmm. yeah exactly yeah you know when i left genu after that i don't know what happened to me what i have mm-hmm. done and what i'm doing mm-hmm. i don't know <laughs> and time mm-hmm. is just flying i don't know i i don't understand how to stop this now Mm-hmm. but it's okay it is not in your hand actually because there are some things in life which are not in your control the very first thing is time but definitely time sometimes time flies so fast that you're not able to do anything uh, but yes i think it will also fix everything 
in the upcoming future maybe like every year we think that you know this year we will do this we will do that and sometimes yeah. uh, at the end of the hmm, at the end of the year like it happens with me also that's why i'm sharing this experience and okay. at the end of the year when you look back uh, you you think that you haven't done much that you could have done exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. even i was watching a, a video on youtube about that was maybe ankur varik yeah mm-hmm. have mm-hmm. you heard about ankur varik yes 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 i have heard about him so he shared about his journey his failures and all that and he said mm-hmm. like uh, i started my career again in 39 age of 39 mm-hmm. so there is no like is barrier you can start but somewhere it make our make us little bit uh, like uh, worry some like somewhere i feel mm. that i don't know why <laughs> like my age is going very fast and now mm-hmm. it it is it makes you anxious basically but i think yeah. you shouldn't be anxious uh, this is something see passing of age is not in your hand but the thing with the things which are in your hand is what you can do about the time which you have in your hands already so the best thing is uh, to improve your habits to try something new to go after something to set up a realistic goal for yourself and speaking of goals uh, what is your goal for the upcoming year like what all things do you want to really achieve in the upcoming year yeah you know uh, why i feel like somewhere anxious because of like i have a lot of things to do but mm. i need time for that and mm-hmm. i need like uh, for a thing like i need 6 month or 1 year so i thought like after 1 year after 6 month i will be like 25 and then 26 and i have to do this and i have to get a job and i have to maintain a bank balance and all <laughs> that that's why i think it it it's like somewhere i feel really very anxious yeah mm. this anxiety thing is like uh, really common it happens with everyone but it, the only but thing it is like it, it's happening with me only <laughs> no 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 it it's not like that it happens to everyone being a human being you are uh, supposed to you know feel anxious and fearful that what will happen what will happen but i think you should not care about what will happen you should care about what you can do right now because if you don't do something right now nothing will happen tomorrow right but everything needs time you know hmm, that is true yeah that's without right. it uh, you really can't uh, but you, you know, have achieve. that pressure from home like you have to get a job early very fast mm. and then you have in your mind ha- your mind is saying like i have i want to do this and i want some time for that and your parents saying like do something and that then that conflict makes a lot mm-hmm. and i i can totally relate with that because it's the story of every indian family <laughs> it happens with yeah. everyone don't think that you're the only person who is suffering or going through all these things it happens with every single individual and yes with time it uh, it like so basically time is a great uh, killer but a great healer also so everything this this is what i, I believe this is my about nice. it but let's see <laughs> yeah but, yeah uh, uh, i think you should hope for the best and prepare for the worst this is what life is <laughs> right yeah, yeah exactly Ho- hope for the best and always be ready for the worst because life is uncertain like things some things will go your way some things might not go your way but you should be like okay you should be comfortable you should be ready for each and every kind of situation that's what it is okay mm. so mm. would you like mm. to give me feedback because in last session that was yeah, uh, it was abrupt Uh, yeah, 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 we were having a conversation and we lost the track of time, basically. Okay. But yes, I think uh, we had around uh, how many sessions? I can't count them, but more than four or five sessions already, right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, I remember our very first session uh, when we had a conversation. You know, I asked you about your routine, habits, uh, and uh, your travel experience and everything. In the next session, you asked me a question about that uh, missing bag in the forest. That one. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. all right so i think definitely if i talk about your confidence level that has improved a lot your articulation and you now you've become more expressive i suppose like 
i used to ask you some conditional questions also i have asked you different kinds of questions in the previous sessions also and yes i can see a lot of improvement but yes definitely uh you, when you when you talk about learning idioms and everything when you just, when you learn them and when you make videos of them also try to you know make sentences on you know on a piece of paper because when you uh, learn an idiom uh, you you usually forget it you have to use it also right you can know a lot of words in english but if you don't use them in your conversation there is no use that is just extra information in your mind so yeah. i want you to maintain a diary okay a small diary in which you can write sentences even if you learn one word every day that's a lot that's like 300 words by the end of this year and when if you have 300 words in your vocabulary i think you can speak like uh, sashi tharur for sure because he i have noticed one thing in his conversation that he uses he has a set of words which he uses repetitively right okay so it it's it sounds like you're listening to this word okay okay i've heard this word in this different speech also but mm-hmm. yeah everyone should have their own set of vocabulary i am also trying to maintain one like this diary i have written down around 250 words so far with sentences you can also maintain a diary like that and try to I use have, these words i do maintain yeah you do maintain right that's a very nice thing okay so when you make a video on youtube uh, and uh, regarding idioms or vocabulary try to learn that word and try to use it in your conversation just put it somewhere frame a sentence this is how you'll become habitual of using it and after some time subconsciously you'll be able to use that word like you know without any problem so yeah, you can definitely try this okay 